So guys, welcome back to another video and today we're playing Fallout 4. By far, honestly, one of my favourite games, I'm not even joking. Such a huge fan. And um, it's good to like be able to share an experience with you, like you can watch it. I have completed on console however, so I know how the game plays up, but I'm going to take a bit of a different route than what I did before. Not going to spoil anything for you, don't worry. It's still going to be like a journey, but yeah, let's get straight into this. So we're going to start with a new game, obviously, like you do. And I hope you are fun watching this. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. Then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because of my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. Never changes. So there you go, and we're straight into it. Well, mostly character customization. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. That's right for me. Okay, so you got literally limitless, well, unlimited customization when it comes to this. Like, I'm not gonna go through it. Obviously, you've seen this being out like a long time. So yeah, you can literally grip him by the neck, make him do loads. So we're gonna start with the face and work our way around. Guys, I'm not gonna go like deep into detail because, like, with most games, I don't like go detailed as hell. Totally has your eyes. How can you see his eye chat? He hasn't been processed. I'm gonna go through some hairstyles. I've seen one I like already, the one I used through my console. Mm, this new haircut's really working for me. It does, it does. So, um, we're gonna see what we can push with this and how far we can go. Let's change the nose a little. Like I said, it's literally like you make the nose smaller, you actually just grab it and pull it. Uh, there! This one gonna look like in ten years' time, probably. Such a cute nose. Oh, thank you. Oh God, no! What have I done? Let's give him more of a jawline. Right. 
Oh wait, we can undo what we were gonna do. Let's go inwards more. Can you like... No? Give him more of a jawline. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. I do say so myself. Can we edit your eyebrows? Oh yeah, let's edit the colour of the hair. Unless I... Because I don't really... There you go. Edit the colour of the eyebrows. No, oh, skin. Oh, Let's go for payoff. That's my handsome guy. Good. No, you can't even add it, right. So we're pretty much done with the face now. Like I said, I don't go into uh, much customization with games anymore. Uh, let's go on to the body, because obviously you're going to see that ass quite a lot. I mean, what? Uh, I'll do. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. Okay, we're done. I don't really care about the world, but not like... Eh. So, here we are. Finally, here. you got a Codsworth over there. Uh, a child which goes by the name of Sean. I forgot his name for a second, lives there. Then here's your bedroom. Oh, looking nice and this is Sanctuary Hills. So what's actually in here? Mm, there's not much. I don't know if I'll get down for copyright or that. I've never really encountered it, but yeah. Anyway, let's press on. Ah, good morning, sir. Safe, safe. Thanks, Kazuwe. You can literally just tell him to shut up. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Sorry. Looks really. Oh, no, true, it is new. I was gonna say. So, this Codsworth you're seeing. Ah, oh, you almost spoiled the game for you. I'm joking. Full taxi, yeah. And there's just a creepy van outside. And then. No, oh, sure. Wait, I got it. I got it. So, this, this is obviously your child. There's not much you can do with the start. It's a bit boring, but it's not too bad. What? Enjoy your coffee, sir. I've already had my coffee. Codsworth. Ah, chores and more chores, my endless chores. So, um, like I said, there's usually a creepy man. On by here, unless he's a That is so weird. He's coming over right this second. I'm answering the door. Let's talk to our wife. Hey, hon. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Oh, that's a bit mean, just that? quickly. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. How many? Yeah, right there. Good old USA. Okay, let's see what you have to offer. Good morning. Vault Tech calling. Hello. So, I'll just see what the fault tech Vault is. Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelter. It's pretty much just a vault, vault system. So, you will. Love you yet, okay. you can't begin to know. I'm here now. So, you are. It's pretty much so all tech is just like the vaults which keep you safe from I obviously know you're the explosion. Busy fellow, so, I won't take up much yeah. of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. It's like he weirdly knows that's going to happen. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre selected for entrance into the local vault. Good. Vault? Because I'm pretty certain the. Character you are, or the person Sounds you great. choose, oh, it is. was in you the mean. army. Now you're already pretty clear much because it did say they the served in the army along with his father's <sighs> grandparents, <laughs> stuff like that. I just need to verify some Sorry for the noise. I was just moving all. my feet. Right. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. I'm going to be honest. Splendid. I'm not good with like Splendid. understanding what he just wait up for this special, see. which is basically. Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. So obviously we're gonna need the character potato. 
potato. Should go the end. Oh, I'm sure. joking. We'll go by the YouTube name if anything. So, there we go. Alright, so go down. Okay, we're done. We're, we're done. There. Okay. I'm going to put 5 in strength. I'll free there. We're going to put 4 there. Charisma, because talking is important in the game. Intelligence, also. Agility and luck. There you go. It's pretty equal. There's more fives than anything else, but yeah. Should be fine. That's everything. <laughs> Just okay, uh, bye. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my so, money. So, are we done now? Sir, okay. Sean has been chained. Hey, Codsworth. Okay, budge. Sir, you heard Codsworth. if I may, Go on. Sean requires your personal attention. Just shut this door so no one else can. Whatever. Anyway. How so this is sure. the most important man in my life doing? Send him over a bit. He loves that. Give me a second, Jesus Christ. You happy now? Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Yeah, best be. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see this. He raises his eyebrows. Well, I raise my eyebrows quite a lot. Okay, let's see what's happening up there then. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost what contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. And there's your classic logo. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. I like how the door just opened by itself. Let's go. So anyway. Come on, let's go. Residents, you obviously you have to go into the vault. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Don't worry about my child and um, wife. Oh, wait a second. Where is she? Go, 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 go. Fine, we don't need them. Just keep running, come on. Okay, so you're dying and you're eight. Action points run out. That is fine. Come on, sprint. You need to skip gym class or nothing. Give me a second. Just need to breathe. It's okay, there's only a bomb going off right now. Not like I need to run at anything. Go on, go. Go, go, go. I am bottom of the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. They were pretty aggressive with this moment. Come on, just go. If you're in the program, we need to get in. We're on the list. Come on. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two, follow me. So, what's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. They're going down. We'll sprint to this, obviously, circle. The vaults were a lot different, so I did play like all the old Fallouts, like Fallout 3. I was obviously going to cover that, but then I thought Fallout 4, and here we are. Anyway, almost there. Off. We're going to be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh and here we go. Stick your thumbs up if you're a Fallout fan. And it was like the video if you like this Hold combat. On. There you go. Here it comes. The moosh. Does anyone have a up when he goes up? It's pretty cool. You call the dust flying at you. It's not really a good feeling, false, but you know. It's pretty much what's happened 
there's our bombs being dropped and obviously they've gone into the vault now so there's story time that's the best way I can explain it don't know how they didn't die from that explosion but it is pretty far down or how the elevator didn't fall that looks more like ladders than anything anyway back to the game everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion I better go first. Mr. Abel. Mrs. Abel. They seem to get like. Oh, they left his wife. Wait, maybe. Mr. Russell? Mr. Whitfield? Who are you? Mrs. Whitfield? They forgot his wife. That's a bit unfair. How do you know she's safe? She's just being taken in by strangers and stuck underground. So there's Vault 111. Welcome home. Proceed in an ordinary fashion. Not tack. Pick up a suit right over there. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Here you are. Down the hall. Take a suit. A goddamn milk. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow ahead? the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Come on, let's See? go. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. So probably he's not enough. Everything okay? We oh, made it. Our home. Everything we had. My mother Sir? and father down in DC. Sir. So far, we've been taken we into the vault, obviously. And uh, it's pretty creepy looking. Oh, we'll be going over. And no smoking song, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna light up a fag now, okay. Okay, so this is weird. You've got. Hey there. A lot of names to process. I'm glad so many people made it. So, we got Cairo. Such a lovely. Odd things, I think they're called. I hope you'll see this as your new home. How would you see this as your new home? What do you do? You get frozen. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. What if I don't want it? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Are you asleep? He really looks fake. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. And then shoves into this big machine. Nothing inside. to worry about. Put on your vault. Okay. So I'm in my vaults. On the lavin suit, and we're entering the pod. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the pod. Just relax. I think what their aim was to freeze everyone. Resident secure. And then hope for the best. If that makes any sense to you, like as they freeze like patients to go down, they'll dare build stuff like that. But obviously, it didn't go to plan. You'll see why now. Four, three, two, and that's the end of Fallout 4, thank you for watching. Not really. So it appears that we've been woken up from our deep sleep. And I think I can see someone. Okay, I can't really see. There's a person. Just gonna smack the glass. Okay, so they're opening the pod. Well, Nora's pod and children's one. I don't understand how they got past all the security, that's one thing I've never understood. So pretty much I may look at the terminals anyway. Everything's gonna be fine. Save out. No, don't kill her. No. Killed the mother, so my wife or Nora is sick all there. 
because she's not used and if he something goes wrong with a the child they will come back and attempt to get me or known as the backup because they hear the girl save situation he basically if you were <coughs> yeah it's easier to explain what happens if you were a girl would be happening to the guy there that's how you explain it see okay so now i'm stuck and i'm awake <coughs> We're out. We're free. Okay. I think she's dead. Come on. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Like, subscribe, whatever. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.